Imagine a world where the ground beneath your feet could betray you at any moment, without warning. Earthquakes strike suddenly, leaving devastation in their wake. But with all our technological advancements, why can't we predict them? Before we talk about earthquakes, we have to talk about the Earth itself. Because to understand why the ground sometimes turns against us, you need to know how it's built. The Earth is not a solid rock, not really. It's made up of layers, like a cosmic onion. At the very center is the inner core, a solid ball of iron and nickel, hotter than the surface of the sun. Surrounding it is the outer core, a swirling ocean of molten metal, generating Earth's magnetic field. Above that, the mantle, a thick, semi-solid layer of hot rock. It's not liquid, but it flows very, very slowly, like honey under pressure. And finally, sitting on top of everything, like a crust on a pie, is the lithosphere. The lithosphere is the part we live on, the continents, the ocean floors, the mountains, the cities. But here's the twist. The lithosphere isn't one giant shell. It's cracked, broken into pieces, like a giant jigsaw puzzle. And those puzzle pieces, they're called tectonic plates. These plates are massive, some stretch thousands of kilometers, and they're not stationary. They float on the layer just beneath them, the asthenosphere, a softer, more ductile part of the upper mantle. The asthenosphere is like a super slow conveyor belt. It moves the plates above it just a few centimeters per year, about as fast as your fingernails grow. But even that tiny motion is enough to reshape the earth. Now here's where things get interesting. Where these plates meet, they interact. And those interaction zones are where earthquakes are born. These boundaries come in three main flavors. Convergent boundaries, where plates collide. One plate often gets forced under the other in a process called subduction. This builds mountains and pressure. Divergent boundaries, where plates pull apart. Magma rises to fill the gap, forming new crust, like at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Transform boundaries, where plates slide past each other. Like the San Andreas Fault in California, it's like two giant slabs of rock rubbing shoulders with enormous force. At these boundaries, stress builds up over time. The plates don't glide smoothly. Friction holds them in place until the stress becomes too great. Then, snap. That sudden release of energy sends shockwaves rippling through the crust. We feel it as an earthquake. These fractures in the Earth's crust where energy accumulates and is released, they're called faults. Think of a fault as a scar in the Earth's skin, where stress has been stored like a coiled spring. And when that spring lets go, the ground moves. Some faults are ancient and quiet. Others are ticking time bombs. So to sum it up, earthquakes happen along faults. Faults exist at or near tectonic plate boundaries. Plates move because they float on the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere flows slowly beneath the lithosphere, and the lithosphere is Earth's outermost shell, divided into moving plates. It's all connected, like bones, muscles, and nerves. One movement triggers another. The Earth is alive in a way you never imagined. But this movement, this drifting and grinding, is slow. So slow that we forget what it can do when it suddenly wakes up. And now that you know what causes an earthquake, let's talk about why we still can't predict one. Despite understanding the mechanics of earthquakes, predicting the exact time, location, and magnitude remains elusive. The Earth's crust is a complex, nonlinear system with countless variables. Small changes can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions incredibly challenging. Why is this so? The conditions leading to an earthquake involve numerous factors, rock properties, fault structures, fluid pressures, and more. These factors interact in complex ways, and our current observational tools cannot capture all these variables in real time with sufficient precision. Moreover, the lack of consistent precursory signals before earthquakes further complicates prediction efforts. In 1975, Chinese officials evacuated Haicheng based on foreshocks, seemingly predicting an earthquake. However, the following year, the Tangshan earthquake struck without warning, resulting in over 240,000 deaths. These events highlight the unpredictability of earthquakes and the unreliability of precursors. How do foreshocks factor into this? Foreshocks are smaller earthquakes that sometimes precede a larger seismic event. However, not all earthquakes have foreshocks, and not all foreshocks lead to major quakes. 
This inconsistency makes it difficult to use foreshocks as reliable predictive tools. The lack of a consistent pattern means that relying on foreshocks could lead to false alarms or missed warnings. Recent advancements in machine learning offer hope. By analyzing vast datasets, AI models aim to identify patterns that might precede earthquakes. For instance, a study achieved a 97.97% accuracy in predicting the maximum magnitude category of earthquakes in Los Angeles within a 30-day window. How does machine learning contribute? Machine learning algorithms can process and analyze large volumes of seismic data to detect subtle patterns that might elude traditional analysis. By training these models on historical earthquake data, researchers hope to identify indicators of impending seismic activity. However, these models require extensive, high-quality data and are still in the experimental stages. While machine learning shows promise, it's not a silver bullet. The variability of geological conditions across regions and the lack of high-quality data limit the effectiveness of these models. Moreover, predicting the exact timing of earthquakes remains beyond our current capabilities. Why are these limitations significant? Machine learning models are only as good as the data they're trained on. In many regions, seismic data is sparse or inconsistent, making it challenging to develop accurate models. Additionally, the Earth's subsurface is incredibly complex, and our understanding of its processes is still evolving. These factors mean that, despite technological advancements, precise earthquake prediction remains out of reach. Given the unpredictability of earthquakes, preparedness is our best defense. Implementing strict building codes, conducting regular drills, and educating the public can significantly reduce the impact of these natural disasters. Beware of claims about precise earthquake predictions. Misinformation can lead to panic and complacency. Trust in scientific consensus and focus on preparedness rather than prediction. Earthquakes remind us of nature's power and unpredictability. While we may not predict them, we can prepare, stay informed, stay prepared, and remember, the ground beneath us holds many secrets. This is The Mindbender, where the ground you stand on might be your biggest threat. Subscribe, share, and keep questioning the very world beneath your feet.